this video, we're going to talk about a very common situation where you may have a dev test subscription where your dev resources are provisioned and you may have a regular subscription that your production resources are provisioned. For the demos today, there's a couple things that we already have set up that I just want people to keep in mind as our pre-requirements. First off, in the East US, we have our production subscription where we have a SQL Manage instance provision. We have an Azure Key Vault that is provisioned and we are using customer managed keys that are already associated with the SQL Manage instance. And we also have an Azure Blob Storage account. In the dev account, we have a SQL Manage instance that is provisioned. We also have an Azure Key Vault that is provisioned and they are associated already using customer managed keys. Provided that we have all this in place, and we have an Azure Active Directory account that has appropriate level access to our SQL Managed Instance, our Azure Key Vault, and our Azure Blob Storage account, and to both subscriptions, we should be able to run through these demos just fine. Now that we have our prerequisites, we will start by backing up the keys for our Azure Key Vault that is associated with our SQL Managed Instance. We will create a second Key Vault that will be moved to our dev subscription and restore the key from the backup to the new key vault. We will then move that new key vault from production to our dev subscription. And we will back up the key in our dev subscription and restore it to our dev key vault. We will then associate that key with the dev SQL manage instance. At that point, on both the prod and the dev SQL manage instances, we will create a database scope credential with a SAS token so we can back up and restore to our production Azure Blob storage. At that point, we will then do a copy only backup to our Azure production Blob storage account and restore that copy only backup to our dev SQL manage instance. I'm in my Azure subscription and I've got my key vaults in my two different subscriptions. I start off by going to my production and I'm going to go to the keys in my production key vault. I'm going to do a backup, a download backup of my key. It's pretty easy to do. And once I do this backup, I need to restore it, but I can't just restore it to the development subscription because I'm in two different subscriptions. Let me show you a quick example of that error. If I go into my development key vault and then I go under the keys, what I'll find is if I restore from backup and I select my previous backup, an error immediately happens. And it tells me this is because I cannot backup a key file from one subscription to another. So I have to create a new key vault in order to be able to migrate these keys between subscriptions. I'll start off by going and selecting my resource group. Then I'm going to put in a name for my key vault. I'm going to do something simple like bball AKV Azure Key Vault to be moved. This can be deleted after we finish this move and restore operation when the key is no longer associated. Once I have provisioned this key vault, I can go to my key vault to be moved. And now I can go into the keys and I can restore the key that we just backed up. This will succeed without any error very quickly because we're in the same subscription and all of my rights are in place to restore this backup. Now let's go back over to overview. And now I will move this from one subscription to another. I'm moving this from my prod subscription to dev. I'm working with a colleague to simulate this and I'm going to select their subscription. And then I'll be selecting the resource group that I'm using in their subscription that is simulating our dev subscription. So in this case, I have selected my dev subscription, my dev resource group. And now I'm going to move this. Once it's been evaluated, I can check the box to say, I understand that this will be moved. And once it completes the move operations, you can see I'm now in the same subscription as my dev key vault. 
So now I can go into the key vault to be moved. I can go to the keys and I can download a backup from this key vault because I am now in the same subscription. I can now go to my dev SQL insiders key vault and I can go over to keys restore from backup and I will be able to restore this key to my dev key vault. At this point, I could delete the Azure key vault to be moved if needed. Now I need to associate this key with my dev instance. I go into my dev instance of SQL manage instance. I go to transparent data encryption and I'm going to select change key. I'm going to specify the key vault and it is the key vault I have set up for this demonstration. It is our dev key. And you can see there's our dev key, but I also have our new production backed up key. Selecting that, I will uncheck make this the default TDE protectorate and click save. Remember, we only want the default TDE protectorate if we want to change the key for the entire instance. In this case, we are just associating the key so we can restore the backup. At this point, I need to go over to my blob container and create a SAS token that I can register on my Azure SQL Manage instances. I will go to my container. I will then go to the shared access tokens under settings. I will select this and then I will provision a key. The key needs read, write, delete, and list permissions only. Then I can generate the SAS token. And at that point, I'll copy and paste this into the script that I have ready to go on SSMS. Over in SSMS, I'm connected to both instances, and we're going to be backing up the movies database from production and restoring it to dev. I've created my credential using my SAS token. I will now back up this movies database to URL to the blob storage account that we have the SAS token pointing at. I will then scroll down and I've got my syntax and I'm going to copy this into a new T-SQL window to be able to create the credential and restore the database on my SQL MI Insiders dev. Make sure that you do this via master and I'm going to double check that I drop this credential that I don't already have one in place and I will create the credential and then I can restore from the backup we created in production and I can get my prod refresh so my database will now be in my development environment so I can develop against it before moving my code into production. To validate this, I'm going to refresh my databases. I see that the movies database is now there. And let's run a quick report. We'll use the disk usage by top tables to validate that all the data is there. That is how back up and restore an encrypted database from a prod subscription to a dev subscription.